What's up everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. Today we have a really freaking sick disc. We have the new DGA Avalanche. Uh, the numbers on this are 9304, filling a spot in their lineup that they don't have yet, and that is that beefy 9-speed that every disc golfer in the world now has in their bag. Uh, and Discraft manufactures the plastic. These things are absolutely beautiful. They feel amazing. The swirls on this are ridiculous. The colors are super cool. Uh, they feel really good in the hand. Classic nine speed rim. Both of these are 170. This one's 173, 174. This one says 175, 176. We also have uh, some Firebirds, a Raptor. So we're going to see how it flies compared to the other big names. Today is the global release of these discs. So keep a lookout and let's see how they fly. Yeah. Wow. A little bit of beef, a little bit of beef. <laughs> All right, comparing to it to a Color Glow Firebird. Yep. Color Glow Champion Firebird? Yep. <laughs> Question mark. This is Reed's disc. That was a better shot. <laughs> I would say a little bit more understable, though. Yeah, very stiff, very flat. I'm going to throw it flat, even though I probably am not making the corner. Whew. Yep, that's beefy. We're going to try this ESP Raptor. I put a little Anheuser on it. What? So, throwing the Avalanche on forehand feels absolutely incredible. I actually love it. Uh, the disc is super, super flat. They're both almost puddle topped, but in my opinion, just the right amount of flat for what you want out of this disc, which is super overstable. Um, the numbers are pretty much as they suggest. You can kind of tell. I think the Raptor has one more glide, and it really did feel like it had more glide. It flies a lot like an overstable run of Firebird. Uh, like if you get a nice overstable champion firebird that's pretty much how this is going to feel and fly i would say a little bit stiffer uh and yeah of course on forehand if you put enough torque on it you throw it flat it's just gonna like dump out skip really hard you put some anheuser on it it's gonna be a great disc for trying to like hit those dog leg shots or fight a headwind throwing it on backhand of course it's gonna be super super beefy you're not getting as much torque from that like wrist snap on the forehand uh, so we were throwing it on like a ton of Anheuser and it's still just dumping out and skipping. Of course, we are amateurs. This is from an amateur perspective, but I think, uh, I think amateurs will also be finding a spot in their bag for discs like this, for discs like the Firebird. Again, utility discs to fight the wind, to get a really good skip shot. You know these things are going to fight to the edge of the disc and flare skip. Um, reliably, reliably overstable. You can find these today. It's the global launch. You can find them at discgolf.com. Uh, these are probably going straight in my bag. At least one of them is. I really like how they feel. The Discraft plastic is incredible. Like I said, a little bit more stiff than like your average champion Firebird, um, but really, really sweet discs. They feel incredible. Fly super nice. We're going to give this one the swanky seal of approval. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to pick yourself up a DGA Avalanche. Stay swanky.